Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a brief video about Holdfast Nations at War. This is in development by Anvil Game Studios, and essentially it's an online multiplayer shooter focusing on a combination of teamwork and individual skill set during the Napoleonic era. So this is very similar to Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. In fact, I do believe some of the team now working on Holdfast also helped in the development of Napoleonic Wars. I could be incorrect at that, but feel free to correct me if I am wrong. And it's shaping up to be one of my most anticipated games of the year. So while I haven't actually had any playtime with Holdfast at the moment, it does seem to be shaping up quite nicely from the trailers and gameplay available on their YouTube channel. Some of them you're seeing on screen at the moment. Of course, if you want to see more, please do check out their YouTube channel. Uh, and also, give them a follow on Twitter. They do seem extremely friendly on, on Twitter, and I've, I've spoken to one or two of the devs um, a little bit, very, extremely briefly, uh, via Twitter DMs. Seem very, like, very nice chaps. So one of the features that seems great on Holdfast compared to Napoleonic Wars is that you can fight on multiple fronts. So you can either join the Navy, or you can enlist in the Army, or you can do both. And the fact that there is naval combat in the game is looking great. So I know the Napoleonic Wars still does have quite an active player base, but it's been out for, I imagine, four or five years now? So there's definitely a gap in the market for something like Holdfast, uh, especially with the new feature of naval combat. That is going to require a lot of teamwork, so I imagine various regiments that still play Mountain Blade will be extremely excited to see that coming to fruition in Holdfast. They do also have a class system, much like Napoleonic Wars, so you can choose from various classes such as an officer, sailor, surgeon, line infantry, captain, and other various roles. So each one has its own traits, which are crucial for your team's survival. So being able to heal someone will be quite an advantage uh, when playing as the surgeon. I don't know if it's going to be like a you gain points based on kind of like a battlefield style thing. I'm not really sure at the moment. Uh, however, I will of course give you more information as and when I receive it. So I'm just going to go over a couple of the Q&As that they've done uh, via development blogs on their website. So one of the questions, will the communities be able to set up and host their own servers? Yes, you will be able to host your own community servers alongside the official ones they'll be hosting themselves and they'll be distributing server files as part of the game on release. When do you plan on releasing into early access? So the game will be available through Steam Early Access in 2017. They still don't have an exact date. I know, I believe they are holding playtests at the moment, which is definitely required when releasing a multiplayer game. Um, I haven't been in those yet. I have been invited and I do intend to go into them at some point. I won't be able to give you any details, of course, as I'd be under an NDA, but if I can get hands on and when I'm able to share more information with you, then of course I shall. So will there be artillery on land or just on ships? So there is a scene in the official trailer within which cannon fire on a fort firing at a ship in the bay. So not only you can, can you expect artillery fire on land and sea, you can also expect them in concert. So you're going to be able to do Napoleonic naval assaults. So you're going to be able to siege forts, naval invasions, etc. That can really change the course of a game. So if you're able to gain naval superiority in a match, then you're going to have a huge advantage going in to seizing the land and capture points, etc. They are not accepting donations for the development of the game. They are self-funding to avoid any sort of outside influence in the development of the game. So they're trying to create it all through self-funding, which is great to see. And I will hopefully definitely be able to support them during the early access period. What factions will be included to start off with? So currently in the early access, they are quite a small team. So at the moment, there will only be France and Britain as the two primary factions for the first release, as they feel they are very recognisable and will also appeal to a large audience. They have also mentioned that both of those nations use foreign soldiers in their armies, such as the Scottish, Dutch, Corsican, and they have included examples of these units within the rosters in Holdfast. Will development continue after early access? And in short, yes. 
Hold Fast Nations at War is not just a single release for Anvil Game Studios. They have both plans in terms of patches, additional content and expansions, but they also want to try and start a whole new franchise with Holdfast. So I imagine that will depend on the success of the game uh, going forward, but if they are able to start a new franchise and for Mountain Blade to have some decent competition, because currently they pretty much have monopoly of this kind of slightly niche market of kind of multiplayer, com well, competitive online multiplayer uh, set in the Napoleonic era or medieval era. There aren't really many things that kind of come close to it at the moment and stuff that has hasn't really been up to par. Uh, there have been a few releases, I think a couple last year, of mainly kind of medieval combat. Uh, For Honor is the AAA one. There was also kind of more of an indie one. I've kind of forgotten the name of it. I tried it for a minute or two and I couldn't really get it. I couldn't really, it didn't really catch my attention that much. But this hold fast seems to be holding my attention and really does get me pumped for the game. I have also seen, and I believe Warrior Sparta released a video on it recently, and YouTubers such as Resonant are covering it a lot. So it'd be great to actually form, hopefully maybe our own little clan, etc. in the game, if we have the time and, and, and are able to. Something they did also mention is that the combat will be quite challenging. So that means whether you're manning a cannon, firing a musket, swinging a sword, they have complex mechanics that are easy to learn but hard to master. I find that also extremely similar with Mountain Blade. I can have great fun with it, but I'm absolutely terrible. So I would probably have to stick as a private or a surgeon or someone in this game because otherwise I would let the whole team down. Uh, so there is timing based directional melee combat that puts the players reflexes and dexterity to the test. And as I'm getting older, my reflexes are getting worse. So yes, I'm probably trying man a cannon or something like that. People uh, used to Mountain Blade will probably be able to switch on over into Holdfast, I imagine, quite easily. But hopefully they'll bring in another audience eager to have this kind of awesome combat switched between naval and land. So that, that isn't something we've seen too much before, except in AAA titles such as Battlefront. I'm not sure of the player counts at the moment, however, I do believe that it will be quite flexible based on your server size. So Mountain Blade has various numbers of servers, that they, numbers of people in the various servers. I imagine that will be the same for Holdfast depending on the size of the map, uh, the type of event that they're holding. In terms of price, uh, their website does list that the regular price of the game will be 20 euros which does seem quite reasonable actually. It's That's a third of the price of a AAA title. So, this studio is an indie studio, but they seem to be creating a quality product. Of course, where I am kind of hyped up, it does have the ability to be a disappointment if I do actually finally get hands on, and it, you know, lets me down. But, I have hope. I have hope that Holdfast could be a really, really solid title. So if you're interested in this at all, of course, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this little overview video, and if you think you'd like to see more stuff like this, of course, please let me know and show the support on the channel. Leave a like on the video. Very much appreciated. And yeah, hopefully I'll get more info on Hold Fast Nature's of War soon. But until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Ivan, Travis, Shack Attack and Isoros Productions for being ridiculous, rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.